If you can't afford flying first class with a girl, then don't go on holiday with her. Flying economy with your girl is G at symbol Y. We both know once she passes next to the first class aisle, she's going to be eyeballing any male she finds there wishing she was with him. Get back to work. This is my favorite business model. Be an insufferable, hedonistic loser that LARPs as a desirable dude on social media to capture the attention of insecure boys, then ask them to join your Alpha Unleashed Telegram group so you can sell them your course. <laughs> Asshole alert. The Tate clones are getting out of control. Like, I think this is actually what Sneeko desperately wants to be, but he's just destined to a life of getting laughed at for being an unfunny cuck that preaches about masculinity, but can't bench the bar. Imagine seeing the girl you love, like, get f get f this is one of my favorite genres, by the way. The podcast bro, the hustler herbs, the guy that knows what a real man is, the finance guru. They're all kind of under the same umbrella in a way, like this dude. Let's take you, for example, and me. And we both pull up and we go to your girl. Odds are, I'm gonna take that bitch. If you compared me to you, you're not gonna win that battle. So the next time you think that your girl's on lock, I got the keys to the castle, mother. <laughs> the naivete this man must possess to assume that my queen, Mrs. Lush, wouldn't laugh in his face, spit on his designer shoes, and then piss in the gas tank of his overpriced insecurity mobile on wheels if he even glanced at her with any sort of intention. <laughs> What's even funnier is that I could just sit back with popcorn because she could snap the string beans he has hanging from his torso directly in half without a single bead of sweat accumulating on her immaculately cared for skin. Now, I know this guy is just pure bait. Has to be, obviously, but it works. So I checked him out and he's like your dime a dozen social media ads experts that wants to show you his cool cars and then sell you his course on how to make money that ironically probably makes up the majority of his income. If you threw Tate and Sneeko in a microwave with an emaciated weasel and put it on high for 15 minutes, this guy pops out ready to make cringe TikToks. But when he actually drops the act, he's very inspiring. If you took $100 billion into single $1 bills, it would go around the earth 20 times. Holy. And fuck. there's still money left over that can get you from here to the moon 15 times back and forth. 20 times? What? I mean, just profound stuff. <laughs> I My path to becoming a billionaire is now clear. My favorite part, though, is the dude going, holy fuck, as his hair was blown back from the nuclear knowledge and inspiration bomb that that dude just dropped. Holy And fuck. here's another gem from him. Government owns your marriage, and here's why. What if I told you that marriage is actually not real? Well, my mentor, Jason Capital, does not believe of course. in marriage. Him <laughs> and Natalie have been together for years now. She has a ring. They're of both course, committed to each other. Mentor. But they're not going to let the government intervene in their marriage. Because as soon as the government gets any part of your marriage, they own 50% of you and your partner. It's like, dude, just tell us you're an incel. Spoiler alert, we already know. And get back to, you know, making cheeky ads and selling courses. Anyways, the government might own my marriage, but they certainly don't own my sponsor segments. So I get to put them wherever I want. And stay tuned after because it keeps getting better. You guys know by now that Raycon wireless earbuds are a staple in my daily routine. My workouts would not be the same without them. Their custom gel tips provide the most comfortable in-air fit that stays in place even when I'm going ballistic. They're also water and sweat resistant. And at a felt 250 pounds, let me tell you, I have gotten these things soaked while I'm on the exercise bike and they have never wavered. Oh, by the way, they also sound good at half the price of other premium audio brands. So whether you're pumping reggaeton or making an important call, you can rely on them to come through. Speaking of calls, I'm on the phone frequently for business reasons. So instead of sitting on my ass while I'm talking, I just pop my Raycons in and get some fresh air walking around the block. The call quality is crystal clear and they have intuitive earbud tap functions that offer control of your calls, sound profiles, and isolation modes. Also insane battery life and they're cute enough to fit in your pocket without you even knowing they're there. So if you're ready to buy something small with a big impact, click the link in my description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you guys so much for listening and thank you Raycon for supporting YouTubers and helping us do what we love. I appreciate you. Peep this one. 
If I ever go homeless, this is the steps I do. First thing I do is I'd get a cardboard, I'd sit outside Canary Wharf Station, and I'd write, I don't want money, I want books. And all I want is I want all those people walking into that station going to these highly successful, yeah, highly paying jobs. Time. Surely they know something that I don't. Surely they can point me towards a book that I can learn something from. And I'd literally sit there, read while people are walking past, seeing that I'm learning, okay? Seeing that I'm here to learn. And I guarantee there's going to be somebody who walks past and says, you know what? I like that mindset. You're willing to learn. You're willing to grow. I Solve homelessness in 30 seconds or less. You witness it here, this podcast piece. That's been the issue all these years. People give homeless people food and money, especially in the social media age, but no one's giving them books. If Mr. Beast could just make a video called giving 10,000 homeless people a copy of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, homelessness would plummet to zero. <laughs> but seriously, I'm an advocate for podcasts. I listen to them. I like them. But then I see clips like this and I wonder, have we gone too far? <laughs> yeah. As the user TikTok investors on Twitter puts it, maybe it's time to take the mics away. Oh, you thought it stopped there? No, think again. He keeps going. Imagine if your whole life you saw this thing like this, right? So imagine if you saw, you don't know what this is, but all you know is that you're looking at this, okay? Let's say you looked at this for 10 years. You really analyzed this. You really, really got to know this. If somebody asked you what you're looking at, what more would you tell them? A cap. What's the shape of a cap? Circle. Yeah, you think you're looking at a circle cap, uh, right? But the thing is that somebody else could be looking at the exact same thing their whole lives on the side. On the side. Now for 10 years, they're looking at this and they're absolutely certain they're looking at this long rectangular thing which goes a little bit pointy towards this side and flat on the other side and for all of their lives they're certain that this is what they're looking at. Now when those two people meet and they start talking about something, the chances are they're going to argue and argue and argue and argue and each of them is going to be like, I'm right and you're wrong. The reality is they're both right. I mean, that was special. What a convoluted way to say that people have varying perspectives on the same issue sometimes. Just a triumphant achievement of pseudo-intellectualism. I honestly thought at first it was satire, because you know me, I've dabbled in satirical podcast clips a bit. <laughs> but in eight seconds of research I did, I'm not so sure. You know, maybe he's both at the same time. Just depends on how you look at the water bottle, I guess. Okay, so if your future husband made a million dollars per year, how much do you expect the engagement ring to be? At least like a fourth of that. At least some more than that. So $250,000? Yes. Sure, 250k is a ton of money, but the record scratch? How many dudes are making seven figures annually? Not many, I'll tell you that. And she's just swinging at the pitch you threw, man. I mean, it's a well-known meme that a man should pay three months salary for the ring if he's trying to wife his girl, which is exactly 250k in that scenario. That said, hell no to the no, 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 no. Yeah, to the no. 300,000? Yeah. I mean, that seems pretty reasonable to me, yeah, yeah. At least half. Maybe like 400,000? Um, I would say maybe like 100,000, maybe like 50,000. Okay. I don't think I'd care as long as it's yeah. paid. That's the real one right there, so I better scoop her up. Maybe like 5K. Wow, that is so okay, respectable. Okay, she's lying. Seven grand. Yeah. Right. A couple thousand would be nice. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Maybe a solid grand. Solid yeah. all. $1,000. If she's the right one for you, a ring pop will mean everything to her. Exactly. I mean, as much as I can spend, I guess. A million dollars? No. You gotta step it up, dude. Some girls expect 400000 That's we found out. Up. Never mind. The classic meme of girls only care about how much a ring costs and guys refuse to spend money on their girl even if they love her and make a million dollars a year. Best case scenario is girl expects that $7,000 ring because she loves you, doesn't care about how much it costs. You get her the four hundred k one instead because you love her so much. Everybody wins. Remember, this is a fictional scenario where you're making a million dollars a year so we can get creative. If you want to turn that fiction into reality, however, just print unlimited money by day trading like this couple here. So how do we make money from home? For starters, this is not a sponsored video. We just get this question all the time and honestly, the answer is really simple. First off, this one is an oldie but a goodie. It's from like bull market 2020 or 21, something like that. And just remember, it's not sponsored. She's very sure to make that a point. So basically, I just trade stocks on an app called Robinhood, which I left a link in our bio if you want to check it out. It's free you to want. download, free to sign up. They actually give you a free stock, oh. so they're paying you to sign up. Um, but again, not sponsored. Link in bio, free to download. They actually give you free money if you sign up. And remember, the link's in my bio, but definitely not sponsored. I'm not getting anything from this if you download it. There's no way I make any money from that. What we have here is the classic white lie. Sure, maybe they didn't pay you to make this video, but you make hella money if people sign up through your affiliate link and trade on Robinhood. Seems incredibly deceptive, 
which is right on brand for slime buckets like this. Let's actually see how they make the money though, so we can do it ourselves. Sounds intimidating. Here's my strategy in a nutshell. Ooh. I see a stock going up and I buy it, and I just watch it until it stops going up, and then I sell it, and I do that over and over, and it pays for our whole lifestyle. Um, if you're wondering how much you can make That's doing it. this, in this month I turned about oh. 400 into 14,000. And in this month, I turned less than a thousand into twenty thousand. And honestly, my favorite part about this isn't even the amount of money you can make, but just the fact that we don't have to go to a nine to five job. Yeah, we can focus oh. on things that we actually enjoy doing. Sounds enticing. So if you have friends that like want to make money from home, you can tag them or send them a link. Or if you make money this way, share it in the comments so other people know. Like, there's more people doing this now. So let me get this straight: you just buy a stock, it goes way up, and then you sell it and make a ton of money. You don't have to work. You can travel and just make. 20 grand a month doing that? That's insane. That's so easy. So push it. All of it. I'll be sure to tell all my friends and they can use your sign up link for unlimited gains as well. Thank you, you lying sack of self serving ginger shit. By the way, your wife has beautiful eyes, but she's married to you and that's a catastrophic L after watching this video. But since we're learning how to trade from the gurus, let's master our craft together. I want to see what happens around this area to see if we're going to drop or we're going to push up. Once I see this candle, have no bearish momentum, I know that our support is strong enough to hold the support and we're gonna push up. And look what happened right after that candle closed. Yeah. It pushed straight up, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's why it's like, okay, bet. You wanna see what's going on at the levels of support. We gotta push up, we gotta high, we gotta low. And this is called, a, what kind of pullback is this? Complex, oh, man. complex fucking pullback, that's all it is. No bearish momentum, complex pullback? God, this day trading is so easy. Why does anybody work jobs? I'm so glad I paid 2K for this seminar. I'm learning so much. <laughs> Hello, boss. Yes, I quit. I'm day trading now. Pussy. I am never gonna financially recover from this. Oh, this next one is a treat. I went from grocery store to driving around in the Bugatti just three years later comes from this simple fact. How I amplified my attraction power was through learning more about how the universe works. And I'll tell you how it works. This phone does not exist in any solid form. It only exists in our mind. It only exists as energy or information. It's vibrational energy. In quantum physics, yeah. we learn that the world is a hologram. Yeah. It doesn't really exist. It's just um, information that we decode with our senses. We have five senses. We decode the information into something that we perceive to be solid, but which is in fact not. The only thing that truly exists in, in, in any real sense is our consciousness. You exist, your consciousness. Because our consciousness, we are like these divine eternal beings with ultimate divine power, yeah. we can do whatever we want, we can attract whatever we want. Yeah. It's not gonna happen overnight, but if I want a Bugatti, I'll just attract it. I mean, my bullshit radar is going ballistic right now, but if I could have this Twink's net worth, I will absolutely talk like this on podcasts. This is the Moon Carl, if you don't know who he is. He's, he's well-known in the crypto space as one of the biggest shills on the planet. So, made most of his millions dumping on his followers after using them to pump shit coins. But yeah, dude, for sure, this cell phone doesn't exist. This drink doesn't exist. And if the world is a hologram that doesn't exist, that probably means your bank account doesn't either. So you could just wire me 50 million and I'll happily pretend like that doesn't exist also. Dumbass. Well, my consciousness is now leveled up and I've learned how to day trade. So I'll probably just stop making YouTube videos and get rich buying things here and selling them here. Sounds incredibly easy. I expect all of us to be buying our significant other's $500,000 rings by end of year. And just like this cell phone, an actual outro to this video also doesn't exist. Oh, please make sure you get out of your chair and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I appreciate you.